This past Friday, our whole parish staff had the opportunity to go on a staff retreat. We went to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Minnetonka, and Father John Bauer led our retreat. Father Bauer is a secular Franciscan as well, so has a great devotion uh, to St. Francis and the Franciscan spirituality. And he shared a story with us of Francis, how Francis is the first person to kind of create and kind of have people venerate the nativity scene, so the, the crash. And the reason that Francis did this is that the people, him himself and other people, could see the poverty of Christ, how he came as an infant. And just to reflect on that. Well, this week I encourage you to reflect on and maybe a couple different scenes of Jesus' life. Of course, we had the procession today of Palm Sunday, that triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And so it's a place you can pray, placing yourself as one of the people in the crowds, crying out Hosanna in the highest, or placing yourself even as one of the apostles, one of the followers of Christ. We heard, of course, as well in the Passion, before the Passion reading what? The Last Supper. And that's always a great place to go in prayer, at the foot of the table, the foot of the altar. This is my body given up for you. Of course, we can also place ourselves at the cross. We can place ourselves at the Passion. If we place ourselves at the cross, at the crucifixion of Christ, we can maybe look at our own house. More than likely, all of us probably have at least one cross or crucifix in our house. And of course, what is that a sign of? It's a sign of God's love. When we first look at the cross, it can be very, the crucifix can be very jarring. But when we understand what it means, we understand it actually gives us what? It gives us life, his death. Is that ultimate sacrifice, the perfect sacrifice, the Lamb of God given up for us. So I encourage you this week to spend time there. You can even place yourself like Mary Magdalene in front of the tomb. And what our life be like if Christ was dead, his death, which we know leads to his resurrection, but that mourning as well, and that awaiting for his resurrection. Once again, this week is called Holy Week, and it's meant to be a week that is holy, a week where we enter into deeper prayer. We finish up this Lenten season with with great resolve and great awareness of what? Of God's mercy, of his grace, and of his love. And so all all these scenes that we can go to, we know that they're not just scenes in a book. They're scenes of Christ's love. And he invites us to enter into it and to enter into his love so that what he may reveal what? His love for you, his love for me, his love for all of us. And so spend time this week in prayer. Use those scenes, use those images to help you realize how much God truly wants to give himself to us because he is madly in love with each and every one of us.